Hello all, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to walk you through some advanced concept of Tableau and how to define different kind of joins. In today's session we are going to talk about two different scenarios. In one scenario I'll be using one fact table and prepare my model and you see there are a couple of dimension I have got. One of my dimension further normalized called customer and country. I'm going to denormalize this by creating a view and make this model as a star schema as far as possible. In the second part of this uh, presentation we'll talk about how to work with multiple fact tables. You're going to have a multiple fact tables and there are multiple ways to resolve it. I would be using both the approach. There are two approach by identify one of the confirmed dimension. We'll take confirmed dimension or the alternate option. We'll split this model into two pieces. So we'll see how to work with multiple fact tables and finally we'll talk about different kind of ways to extract data into Tableau, uh, how they work in different scenarios. Let's get started. I'll be using this model today to design my Tableau model. I'll be using my desktop client Tableau 8.1 connect to my data source. My data source is Oracle in this case. Connect to data source. I'll be using Oracle and I expect database connection details. So I go to click on advanced, specify your server name. I install Oracle into my local system, therefore I'm giving a local host. You could have given a server name, IP address as well. My service name is ORCL and the default port of Oracle is 1521. You define a credential over here. You can use an option called window authentication or you can specify credential. I'll be using credentials and then I click on connect. It will connect to data source. I'm using asset schema because I've given an admin privileges to my asset schema. Therefore, I can access more than, I can table from more than one schema. What I'll do at first, I suppose to the fact table, which is my sales fact, then I'll pick different dimension one by one. In order to do this, first I select fact and then dimension, but I also like to pay important attention over here uh, that these two are my dimension, I would prefer to use a, I prefer to denormalize them by creating a view rather than using them to as a normalized structure. So what I do, I'll do, I create a view on top of this called VW country and customer or customer or country. The customer, the country is a parent table and customer is a child table. It means the cardinality is one to many. One one country there are many customers. Right, so whenever I join, I'll consider this important parameter. My country should be parent table and my customer should be a child table. So if you are good at writing SQL query, you can do it. If you're not good at, let this job be done by your, your Tableau. You can render the SQL query over here itself. I'll select country. I click on multiple table. I select customer and country. country and customer and the joining criteria uh, your Tableau suggests you to country ID. Tableau is smart enough whenever it finds a common column between the dimension or facts dimension fact and two dimension which has parent child relationship it automatically considers is a primary key. I do have option to add it and delete it but for now I'll go to my custom query I'll take this expression and on top of this I'm going to create a view. So this is my query section uh, where, where I'm extracting data from customer and country and my source is customer and country the type of join is eco join and the joining criteria is country ID. I don't want this table as a source rather I would use a create a view create view view name VW and country customer. It is a suggested solution as that's it I'll take this as a data source. I copy this expression and run against my database. Just paste it over here. It forms a view. The view got created. Now I could query directly from you. So let's start from VW customer and country. So 
sorry country customer right ready so i'll not be using this i'll load it again click cancel and load again my database click on database oracle click on advance define your server name credentials your service name orcl and your port number 1521 then you specify your credential i'll click on connect and this time i'll be using view rather than using table so i use vw customer country first i use my multiple table my fact table sales and i keep on adding all the tables i select customer and country view you can select all the required column you need whichever column you do not require you can uncheck them uh my joining criteria would be customer id customer id add and i continue to create more tables keep on adding sales product customer we have another one is called channel i'll be following the same rule as given over here i added customer and country now i add product time channel and promotion product okay time and channel and the same fashion you can continue to add more dimension i'll be you know to make it shorten i'm selecting few of the dimension only and that's it you do have option over here to see custom sql which i shown you if you you feel you are not very comfortable writing sql query you can render the custom sql copy the expression and you can do manipulation so sky is the limit you can manipulate your data at any kind of function you can use it over here as long as it is being supported by your database right it give you power to give you complete power uh, so that you can use custom defined sql and you can use any database specific function in addition to this you have a parameter or preview data as well parameter we are going to talk about in next subsequent session and i click on preview data it give me the whole data resultant as a query okay and data source ready now as we discussed in the previous session tableau allow you to pull data into your local system extract data in compressed manner or you can do a live connection live connection is often preferable when your data is quite dynamic and changes over the period of time you can have a import all data for now i'm using the option live connection so you see uh, tableau very intelligently segregate your data in terms of dimension and facts all the facts are under your majors and all the dimensions visible over here it's a basic data model now couple of more option i'm going to show you today on top of this you can right click your refresh your data model refresh if you are feel like your underlying data source got changed and you're suspected about it you can click on refresh and this ensure that your data model source is in sync with your underlying data source right click you can also view the sample data as i shown you in addition to this you have an option to extract data right click extract data extract data is is similar to your materialized view in typical database where you extract data and load into your local system so accessing data offline whenever you need to extract data offline you prefer to extract data there are a couple of option you need to pay attention uh, you need to remember when you extract data you can extract entire data source however you may not need the entire data source you may like to extract some subset of the data in terms of rows you can specify or you can specify sample data i think i've written mention over wrongly you can extract entire data set you can apply filter and extract on extract some piece of rows i show you how to do this you have an option called extract data click on extract data and there is an option called filter for example i have got data for multiple product line or multiple years but i like to extract data only for last 12 months or last year of data i select my click on year calendar year and your system is tableau is intelligent it automatically extract the distinct value and show me we have a data from 1998 to 2001 I can use range of values and I see I like to see data for first two years 98 and 99 alternatively I can use at least one value specify for which specific year do you want and this way you can specify set of members 
I will be extracting data for 20, 1990 and 1999. Okay. So I got a filter on my data set. Rather than pulling all data, I am, I'd like to prefer, I prefer to extract recent year data. Right. Now, you have an option over here called aggregate data on sample. Aggregate year on sample apply group by function, it typically in SQL query. Like, when you are applying sum, uh, you apply aggregate on year, aggregate on year, right? What does happen in the behind the screen? It will apply sum on your amount sales, whatever your major is, let's say amount sales, and comma year, right? From and group by on year. Data is going to aggregate on a predefined dimension. Aggregate data for a visible dimension, as aggregate data on visible dimension, or aggregate data or rolls up on quarter. This is a simple example over here. Aggregate data on visible dimension. This is my original data. We have got duplicate values. For south, region is being repeated south and west is being repeated. When I apply aggregate on visible data, which is region is my visible dimension, the group by apply, some apply on sales and group by on region. So I got one aggregated value from one region. For the given, with the intersection of time and region, I got one integrated value, right? So there are two south for the same days, same time, it will aggregate it to 800 UST. Or I can apply aggregate roll up. So when you apply a roll up with respect to your date, group by apply on date, and group by apply on region. So this is how uh, you can apply aggregate. You can al you also have an optical like sample of it. Uh, you can extract all the rows. You can specify sampling of it. I like to see sample of first 100 rows. Maybe your data is pretty huge. You can apply sample of it. Click on extract. Right now my data will extract for two years and uh, it would be aggregate on year and take a sample rows of 100 and the extension is TDE Tableau Data Extract I'll give a current years current year sales it is getting extracted and I'll be using this data source as an offline data source it may take some time to extract data because my data volume is relatively higher let it complete it takes few more seconds it is taking more time, so I like to apply limit or more than one column. I can click on add, and I say year should be calendar year should be 1998, and in addition to this, I apply multiple and criteria, and product line. On I apply my filter on product category, product category equals to electronic. I can continue to add apply more filter criteria in order to ensure that what piece of information I need, I'll extract only those piece of information rather than pulling all of them. This way I can speed up my query performance also. So apply filter on product category, year and that's it. I click on extract. Extension is TD. I select say sales time data. Overwrite on my existing one and click on extract. It will take few seconds, let it complete. You see it is importing data now, extracting and it will store into TDE file. It is same as you have a materialized view. I could see the number of rows are being extracted. It's really higher. Import is done, sorting is taking place, writing metadata, it is done. Now, when I click on this option, I do see the check option is use extract. Right now, if I query some data, it will come from my extract rather than it will hit my database. So it is called offline analytics. Once you extract this, you also have an option to publish your database to the server, subset of data to the server. Therefore, everybody can access this. Click on publish, specify your server name and the credential. I sign up, sign in and it will publish into your server. 
again it's relatively bigger so it takes few more seconds to complete now here I need to specify who can access this so all user I will be adding an explicitly a user called click on add the user called Neeraj I add the user explicitly and define the type of access I'll go by default for now in a subsequent session we'll talk about different type of access that's it so there are two people can access this all user or I could explicitly say for a specific user click on publish it will publish into your server you can see the relatively smaller 3.1k only kb only let us source exported successfully now I could go to my server and check this you do have an option over here data export and add to save data source click on this and I specify over here data source consists of product analysis and I log into my server and I could check this finally so when you create a new data source you create a new report you would find product analysis new data source over there I close this and I open it once again when I click on connect data source I could see my product analysis save data sources also as I publish into my server my people people can create report on top of that when they create then they use a browser client we'll see in subsequent session how to create your report in your browser line. For today we're going to stop over here and in next example do watch we'll talk about how to work on multiple fact tables should you have any query please feel free to mail us or you can visit our site www.bisptrainings.com thanks all and have a great day ahead